Shalom. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akim and a few Akawath across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone, Houston, coming to you with a quick lesson. Now, I saw this on End Time Headline um, Whistleblowers to tell Congress that pilots are seeing unidentified craft regularly and share near miss encounter with dark gray cube inside of a clear ship in the inside of a clear spear. Now we know that they call them UFOs or, you know, we call them IFO identified flying, uh, objects, you know, unif UFOs, unidentified flying objects or UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomenons, or they change the A to anomaly. But we know that those are the chariots of the Lord which are also called clouds you know they mix and mingle with the clouds sometimes you can't tell whether it's a cloud or if it's a, a, a an angel that's in that vehicle but we can tell that you know we're getting closer and closer to salvation because the chariots of the lord are showing themselves more and more and more which is a good sign for us you know lord willing we'll be a part of that number to get beamed up and we can get saved out of this hell hole and then ultimately we can rule you know for eternity and righteousness you know that's what we're looking forward to we're looking for this place to be destroyed by those icbm thermonuclear missiles and also those chariots but i had a few precepts that i want to go into um let me see where i wanted to start okay let's go here zechariah chapter 5 verse 1 then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. Now that flying roll, you know, is the chariots. And what this whistleblower was saying, you know, these pilots are looking up. Whether they're flying, you know, you look to the left, to the right, and then you just see a chariot pass by, or you know, he's in the <laughs> flying right next to you, flying, you know, above you, beneath you. And then sometimes the chariots, you know, disguise themselves to where you can't, um, you know, they cloak themselves to where you can't see them you know that, that has to be terrifying if you're you know let's just say you're in the air force and you're just flying you know doing regular routine flights and then you see a chair whisk, whisk by you at speeds that you you've never seen before but zechariah 5 and 10 and he said unto me what seest thou and i answered i see a flying roll the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits so you know, these pilots, they be like, you know, they're, they're being asked, you know, by Congress and, you know, other Senate and, and et cetera. That, hey, what are you guys seeing in the air? And we say, hey, we're seeing a flying roll. We, they're basically seeing these chariots of the Lord, these angels. Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side, according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it so it's a curse unto these heathens because the angels of the lord are on our side you know uh let me get that salaki so let me get this precept you know the angels of the lord you know they camp it around them that that fear which is um psalms 34 and 7 second kings chapter 6 verse 16 and he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. So, you know, there's more that be with us that be with them. So we don't have any worries about, you know, these Air Force or the Space Force. You know, we don't have any worries about that. Esau's technology can't keep up with the angels. I love when I first started learning the truth, the apostles, you know, they're comforting with these words. And they said, hey, one angel can take out pretty much everybody on Earth. So when Yahweh Shah comes back, when he has that multitude, hey, it's going to be, you know, overkill. You know, and that's what we want. We want our our brothers, you know, the other angels, you know, to show out with Yahweh Shah, you know, to take down this wicked ass kingdom. Uh, okay. 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven. So that's going to be war in the skies. That's why you have an air force and a space force, but it's really not going to really be a war. And it's going to go into it and say it, but, you know, it's going to be, you know, the angels of the Lord versus, you know, um, the air force and the space force. And, you know, and, and these other heathen nations, they're going to have their uh, military and their aircrafts also. Uh, Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So the angels of the Lord alongside of Yahweh Shai, you know, it's going to be a flawless victory, you know, or, or like in Street Fighter, it's going to be perfect. Like it's not going to be really a, a real war. You can't knock down any of the angels of the Lord. So, you know, your, your space force and your air force uh, and plus these other heathen nations, like you stand no chance. You're going to prevail night, as the scriptures say. We are confident with these words. We have confidence, you know, with faith. When you break down the word confidence, um, we have faith in these words that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is a man that he shall not lie. So, hey, it's not going to be even a close battle. Um, last precept I had. Luke 12 and 21. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. So as as these reports come out of these so-called UFOs, but we know they are the chariots, you know, the angels of the Lord. You know, we're going to look up in the sky because we know that our salvation is drawing near and near than when we believe. That's the Romans 13 and 11. So, you know, Lord willing, we'll be a part of the number, you know, the 12,000 men from the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, also being saved was the uh, innumerable multitude, which is the men, women, and children of Israel. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that look like the other heathen nations, you know, because Israel has been scattered among all the nations, but we know that our redemption draws nigh as the chairs continue to show themselves more and more and more. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. Shalom and the Baba Ball.